Hey there, artist friends, it's Mrs. Heinzelman. This week, we are gonna talk all about flowers. April showers bring May flowers, and Friday is May 1st, also called May Day. That is a great day to make a beautiful painting or drawing or card and share it with someone that you love. So, let's talk about what we need for this project. Today, we are actually gonna paint with a toilet paper roll tube. Can you believe it? Anyway, so you're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need some Q-tips, uh, three that we're going to join together. You can use a rubber band. I just used um, a wire bread tie. So those three are gonna be together, and then you're gonna need one all by itself. So you need four Q-tips, toilet paper roll, tube. You're going to need some paper. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. This is on, uh, or this is done with watercolor paints, and this is done with just tempera paint. So I wasn't sure um, if you had tempera paint at your house. So if you have that, I encourage you to try a couple of different ways. It's really fun to experiment and kind of see what you like. That's actually one of the fun parts of art is getting to experiment with the different supplies. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So you're gonna take your tube and a pair of scissors and you are just going to start, hold it in your hand, you're just gonna start cutting the edge, little snips, little snips, little snips. See the size of Mrs. Heinzelman's little snips? And you're going to go all the way around the circle. And as you're going around this circle, they're going to start kind of sticking out like this. And when you're finished, it is going to look something like this. So then you're just going to take and you're going to push. It looks like a little crazy character. Um, so this is what you're going to end up with, okay? Now, this is going to make... A big dandelion. You can see the big shape that it would make. But if I wanted to make a small dandelion, how could I get my tube to be smaller? Well, all you have to do is take that, um, you got it snipped all the way around, then you're just going to take your, whoops, I'll fold him back down. So you got him like this. If I want to make a small dandelion, I'm just going to cut him, open him up, and now think about, oh, maybe halfway. So I'll just cut that. Now I have two pieces. I'm going to take this one and turn it over. And see, now I've just made a small one. I'm going to get a piece of tape here and tape that shut so that makes push his little bristles out so this would make a small dandelion and this one you can see how much bigger okay so um something that i did because i didn't have a bazillion toilet paper tubes is i took one tube and i cut it in half see this is half of this tube I cut it in half so that I would have two different ends that I could use. So you could do that and then have a short one and a long one. I mean, a big one and a small one, okay? So after you build your, these guys kind of look like little octopus, don't they? After you build these, you're ready to get started on your painting. So um, the important thing with your paint, whether you're using the watercolor or the tempera paint, is that after you put it on your surface, I have mine on a plate. I have my watercolor on some tin foil. But you're going to take a brush and you just want to smooth it around so that I put a little um, pink in here so you guys could see the paint better. Smear it around so that it's nice and smooth. And then you're going to take your little um, dandelion shape and you're just going to tap him down in the paint. He's just dancing around on the top of the paint. And then when you stamp him on your paper, it's just going to create some little scratchy lines 
and then you go back and get some more and you create some little scratchy lines you just kind of layer and stamp him on there remember a real dandelion is very light and fluffy so we don't want our paint on here to be so heavy that we can't still see some of the paper behind it we want to give that illusion that it's light okay um but still create a beautiful texture so after i have the amount of paint that i want for my dandelion then i'm going to take my bundle of three q-tips and i'm going to dip them in my paint and i'm going to put a little little stamp there in the center because in your dandelion you can kind of see the inside there so there's something inside there that all those little seeds are connected to so after you have your little spot on the inside you want to get a little bit more paint on your q-tip and i'm just like to kind of go around the edge all the way around like a circle just to make sure that i have a nice soft edge for my dandelion okay and then you're going to take your single q-tip and i'm going to get some more paint on it and again i'm just using the white and think about if here is your dandelion his stem's going to go down dandelions usually are kind of curvy stem see how his stem curves it's not a perfect straight line so i'm going to come down and i'm just going to take my q-tip and zoop, make him a stem coming down it's just a nice loose stem okay so this is if you do white paint on colored paper you can use any color that you like it's actually kind of fun to experiment with different colors i created this one using some watercolor paint i wasn't sure how the watercolor was going to work with the little cardboard tubes but it actually did pretty well so i want to show you this um real quickly so i'm going to start with a new sheet of paper i'm going to take my watercolors i have a piece of foil for my palette here i'm going to take my watercolors i'm going to get a little water on my brush and i'm going to wake up the blue and before i even get started painting i'm just or with my dandelions i'm just going to put down some color just so that my paper's not white i just think it looks a little more interesting if i have something else going on so here's some greens down here remember i'm just waking up my watercolor and tap tap tapping some colors in there this is just going to create a background for my dandelions okay now that i have all those colors on there you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a paper towel and i'm just gonna wipe them off i'm wiping all in the same direction and that's taking the water off but i still have some pigment on my paper so now it's not solid white it just gave it a little bit of depth and some texture okay so now we're ready to paint our dandelions so I'm going to, and our last ones were white, which was realistic. I think this one, how about some, oh, I think I like the blues. Let's do some blues and yellows. So I'm going to take my water, get a little more paint, and I'm just going to make a puddle right here on my foil. Remember, I want to go in a circle because that is the shape of my dandelion, okay? So get some paint, and you're just going to make a little circle. Now I'm going to use the small guy, and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap him in there. And I think he's going to live here. And I'm just going to tap more. Now because this is cardboard, it's not really absorbing the watercolor a lot. So on my paper, it's very soft and light. Now i'm going to get another color i'm going to start with my lightest color so i did a light blue now i'm going to do a dark blue and again i'm going in a circle 
and I'm going to tap, 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 and I'm going to tap around, and you can see those different values are creating some depth. Okay, I like him. So now I'm going to take my little family of three Q-tips here, and I'm going to touch some little spots in the middle, and then I'm going to... I think I want one more color in there, something brighter, maybe some yellow. And I'm going to wake up my yellow. Get it out on my palette here. And now I'm going to take this little guy. Oh yes, I like the yellow in there. We'll just add a little yellow in there. Okay. Now, I can keep doing that, filling my paper with as many dandelions as I want. I um, also want to add a stem to this little guy here, so I think I'm just going to take my paintbrush and grab a little, I think I'll give him a green stem. Remember, dandelion stems are not straight. They're real wobbly because the dandelion puff is heavy, so I'm just going to swoop him down a stem. Okay. And that is all it takes to paint a dandelion. So it's May Day on Friday, so I hope to see lots of great dandelion prints. Or if you don't do dandelions, show me some other flowers. Um, I'm going to show you a tulip real quickly. Okay, the other kind of flower I'm going to show you guys is a tulip. Tulips are blooming right now. You'll see a lot of yellow tulips or red tulips. So I'm going to show you how to do this real quickly. And the crazy thing is, I'm going to use a potato. A potato! So I took a raw potato. I haven't cooked it. And I just cut kind of a W, or I guess it would go that way, an M. I cut that at the end of it popped right off, and I made my own stamp, okay? So I'll show you on this end real quickly, okay? First thing I do is I cut the end off, and then I just do little pokes, like the letter M, and then I come on the side and pop those little triangles out. That's all it is, just like that. So. For this, I'm going to just use tempera paint. We could try it with the watercolor. I'm not sure how that would work. We'll try it and see. We are artists and we'd like to experiment. So we're going to take some paper. We'll use this side of the tulip. And again, when you are using anything that you're dipping in your paint, you want to make sure that your paint is nice and smooth, not just in a big blob. So I'm going to tap my tulip into my paint, and then I'm just going to tap onto my paper, and that creates my tulip shapes, okay? And when I'm finished, I can add stems. Um, this is really nice if you wanted to make a card for somebody, for your neighbor or your grandma, or Mother's Day is coming up too. So this is another type of flower, the dandelion with the toilet paper tubes or the tulips with the potatoes. You know what, let's try a watercolor tulip real quick since we're here before my time runs out. My time is running out in about 45 seconds. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I think it's gonna work. So, yep, if you only have watercolor paint, the tulips will work just fine um, with the potato stamp too. So, you guys have fun making flowers this week, and if you have some other kinds of flowers that you like to make, add those in as well. I can't wait to see your work.